first guest. You might recognize them from American Horror Story season nine. You might recognize them from Shameless. Uh, but do you know the band Sorry Kyle, one of my favorite LA based bands, and the artist Zach Villa, who will be joining us in just a moment. Get a drum roll going, friends. We're gonna invite Zach in, and I wanna hear all your questions. Hi. What up, friend? Good to see your face. Good to see your face. Here we are buffering. Let's see if this connection holds up. How you doing? I'm good, man. It's been a cozy Sunday. I had to like get my tiki kitchen, you know, a little bit more tidy so I could come and join you and hang out online for a minute. It's all about the vibe. You have vibe. You've got all these sparkles going. I should have done that. Yeah. You already sparkled. Oh my gosh. You stop it right now. <laughs> I was just thinking, I was just like, I haven't seen Zach's face in so long, and your music always makes me smile. So Aww. thanks for hopping on. Cause I was like, I just need to catch up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel yeah. the same way. Hello from across the way in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying that about my music. It's, uh, you know, the last, the last one I put out was fun, real banger. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you've been staying busy through uh, through this whole world crisis. You've been up on the onlines, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm one of those that's like, I deal better when I'm not stopping, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I power through. I'd love to hear more about this this solo artist treat, solo artist treat we got going. Because I was just saying how much I love Sorry Kyle and how, how fun yeah. those shows were. It was like a staple of like the LA scene a few years Aww. ago. But now we've got this whole new chapter of your solo stuff. So tell us more about it. You know, you have to keep expanding as an artist. And Sorry Kyle was kind of the jump off point. Like I really love, you know, that emo pop punk sound. And I actually started Sorry Kyle back in 2016 when I got back from uh, from Nashville. And I was like, this is, this is happening. So made that band and I called like the return of like pop punk and all of that. And then here we are and it's like everywhere again, which is great. It's funny. The solo stuff, I think, originally started as more like kind of an electronic crossover to, to what I was doing with uh, my old band Rebel in a Basket Case, which was more like new wave 80s crazy sparkly glitter amazing guitar sounds. And I miss that project a lot. I kind of took that and, and you know, I, I, I released that song Revolver back in 2019. And there's like two or three other tunes that are that have literally just been on the back burner in that same style the entire pandemic because, you know, everybody got depressed. And I was like, yeah, I'm not releasing this for a while. That was kind of the basis of where I thought the sound was going. And then I just spent so much time with Sorry Kyle that I was like, you know, I think, and then like the return of, you know, all these like new new emo artists and, and old emo artists making a comeback. And I was like, I just need to go and do a solo project of that material. Yeah, there's a couple songs that didn't really make it into the, the Sorry Kyle catalog. It didn't really, you yeah. know, make sense. And I'm actually going into the studio in mid-February, right after I finish this uh, this film that I'm doing to bang out. It could be an EP, huh? could be a lot more songs. It really just depends. I got <laughs> two, of my, two of my favorite collaborators and we're just gonna do it old school. I was trying to produce with some more, lack of a better term, like slicker producers for a minute. Mm -hmm. And that was okay, but I, I really missed, I really missed just kind of being a band and being in a room and staying up super late and working with people that were like, we're gonna get this done no matter what. But, you know, sure there's heart involved. And hopefully I come out with like a full pop punk emo record with just me. So that's incredible. Yeah, thanks. That's and then so lump exciting. lump yeah, lump the, the cover that I put out most recently. That that was that's kind of the template, you know? I was like, I wanna see okay. what this feels like with, with a song that's already, you know, that already exists and just kinda like work on the sound. I I, I did this movie with MGK and and Mod Sun in the fall and mm -hmm. just seeing like what they're doing and what they're putting out, I was like, hell yeah, like I this is this is the time. And and so I'm just going to steal from all of them, put my own little spin on it. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and hopefully it's cool, you know? Well, your voice really lended itself to Lump. It's such like a classic song, but you still like really came through like with your own like tone and like the energy Dang. is so good. If the EP's got that vibe, I think it's going to do real well. Yeah, I mean, we'll, I, I think it will. <laughs> it's, uh, it's funny. As I, I don't know about you, but <clears throat> as I've gotten older, like I used to think, so like, sorry, this is a tangent. This is not interesting. You tell me, but like, you go for your tangent. Um, great. When I was a kid, I was a freaking soprano. Like we're talking like baby Michael soprano. No. So it was it was a whole thing, and I was like, I can I have an, an angelic 
freaking Charlotte church thing. And like, that's like what I'm going to do. And then, you know, puberty comes in hard and you're like, mm -hmm. oh, JK. And then throughout high school, I was like, I'm a double bass because I could hit a low C on the piano, which was like what? crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, everybody's like, oh my God, I'm doing that. And I was like, yeah, okay. I just kept writing my own music. And then as I've gotten older, my voice has started to get higher. I think it's like that old man thing. I'm like, like seniors and, and sometimes they're, you know, the voice is so up here. Like, you know, and it has mm -hmm. nothing to do with their their gender it's just like it just happens it's like an aging thing my dad is a tenor so i was like ah. i think i think I've, i think i've got that and now i'm like doing all these weird like sprelting freaking things and i'm like come again sprelting which is like Scrub. belting screaming <laughs> can, can you give me an example nope <laughs> not right now <laughs> i need a moment to prepare all right you're right um yeah you didn't hear it just now it was so high. It was like out of mm -hmm. out of our hearing range. Whisper tones. I've just been like really, really connecting to like emotion and 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 pop punk mm -hmm. lends itself to uh, basically vocal technique is one thing and that's cool and you can be like a trained singer but then like you connect to like just a really raw emotion and your instrument can do stuff that you just didn't even know was possible. I've had a lot of those moments like in the studio and so I'm really looking forward to just kind of pushing my myself and my boundaries. You know. I'm so yeah. excited to hear this. Thanks. Any plans? Too. You don't have to answer this question. Any plans to tour once the album is out? My hope is that, let's say April, because there's a lot of things that are happening in my career in April. As far as touring is concerned, you know, I'm I'm nervous about it with what the world looks like now. And, you know, and all the local venues that I used to know and have relationships with are just gone or changed. Uh, yep. Just like, wow, this is going to be a lot of work. Where do I where do I even go? Where do I even play? Well, if you need a you street know? team, if you need someone to go put up posters, you just text me. Girl, let's do it. But only only if you tap dance during your show, because that's probably... Okay, well, I was going to say, <laughs> have this comment. This is actually, like, I got obsessed with you when I found out that not only were you an amazing musician and a, and a lovely human being, but then I was like, oh, yeah, you tap. I think so. it would also work well in, like, a, a screamo song, you know? Like, I really think you could work it in there. If anyone could <laughs> do it. It would be you. But I don't know how I do this to my life. Da, 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 da. Yeah, totally. For sure. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read some questions. Bro, Zach, can you do a cover to one of Olivia Rodrigo's songs? <laughs> yes. How do we feel about Olivia Rodrigo's music? Amazing? We love it? Uh, I'm seeing some hearts. Seeing yeah? hearts. Okay. Do you hate it? I won't tell anyone. I'm I'm somewhere between the camp of like I think you know what it is I think I think it got soured for me because I was like this isn't pop punk this isn't Paramore uh, yeah, and yeah. Every, but it is and Paramore. everybody's like yeah I know I know I know obviously I'll be right Haley Williams would be like send a check I don't know it's a I would I'd do it, I'd do it for you uh but I but yeah there's some other things that I think I want to get at first next question do you like Miley Cyrus Zach got some very specific questions about other artists uh yeah I do Zach when are you gonna post again uh, <laughs> and will uh, you collab with Dove Cameron I would love to collab with Dove Cameron in fact Dove is a very busy lady we we worked on that same movie she's she's in the on the the MGK uh, uh, Machine Gun Kelly Mod Sun movie, oh, cool. yeah, we we actually we were chatting in the green room um, when we were doing that, and it was actually her idea. She was like, "Guys, guys, promo tour for the movie," and it was because you know she's like, "I know Zach is an awesome musician." She's like, "I have music coming out. I've seen her twice. She's amazing." Awesome, yeah. It's very like new age pop, um, and it's very cool. But we were like, you know, it'd be so cool because Boo Johnson's in the movie too. He's a, an amazing uh, uh, skateboarder, and so we we're like, how cool would it be? You know. Dove comes out, does a few songs. Zach does a couple songs, and then Boo comes out. They like put a you know a half pipe out on stage, and they like he skates for a minute. <laughs> it's like a variety show, right? And then you know obviously MGK and and Mod would like hold it down. I would love to. I would love to collaborate with her. So she's she's a cool lady. Cool. Well, I hope it happens. Me too. Uh, Dove, watch. <laughs> Dove, everybody tag Dove. Next question, does Zach know how hot he is? Very, hmm. very professional questions, folks. Let me, let me, let me this pull my smartwatch. Time. My smartwatch says uh, mm, he's sometimes aware. Well, I'm going to ask you some questions and take a break from the chat real quick. How's it been balancing uh, the actor life with the musician life? Does it, does it balance like nice and easy? Or do you kind of have to find your focus shifting back and forth? It, uh, that's a tough question. The, 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 the joke answer is, um, is what balance? As an artist, I think music feeds acting and acting feeds music. But as of late, I've been really busy. I've been very fortunate. I've been like hopping from film to film. And when I go 
into a project, I get really, really um, involved. And my goal as of late has been to really transform, whether that's like a job that's like three days long or a movie that's going to take the next four months. I just like, you know, I just delve in and, and try to like really live the life of that character. And so it's hard. It's really difficult to come home after like an 11 hour, an 11 hour day on set and then, you know, fight with, uh, you know, an indie distributor like TuneCore or DistroKid and just like struggle to like format my art. I'm like, I don't, I can't, you know, like, so it's, it's just been really, it's been hard. And, and I think, I think, you know, the world that we live in now, not to bring it all down, but it's really, it's just difficult. There's a lot, like everything just requires more energy. When things are popping, I like, I'll, here's what I'll say. My, my dream existence is do my regular TV show from September through January, take a month off and then write for like, a couple months in the studio, bang out a record, and then go on tour until I have to go back to work on the TV show. That would be like my my desired existence. It's tough. I think I think sometimes like I'll have like three auditions on my plate that I should be doing, <laughs> like right now. Um, and I, and I'll and I'll sit down with my guitar and I'll just be like, man, I have you know, there's an idea that's formulating, and I've actually made myself not write. Like mm -hmm. that voice inside you that's like, hey, you have an idea, sit down and do it. Like I'll take I'll take a note. And then I'll forget about it because I know that if I sit down and the fires are burning, that that's a day. The day is gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so hard though. Well, it's so hard to, to stop to like block that, right? I know. I don't know. When I figure it out, I'll tell you. <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing great. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Seems like you did a great job with the world being the way it is, you know? Like you're really, Man, really you're not, you're not. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. That, it's, like, it's tough. Give yourself some credit. You're doing a lot. You've been busy. Um, Girl, thank you. I you're, I mean, honestly, your feed the other week uh, got me out of a place. Uh, I forget which one it was. I messaged you, and, and I think I think it was a TikTok. And I was just like, man, I needed to hear that. Aww. It was, uh, and it just, you know, just kind of brought me out of that funk and kept me going. And I was like, this is, you got, you got, you got some, okay. you got a good head on your shoulders. People like you out there to be like, ah, yeah, I needed to hear that. And I didn't know, you know. Aww, I'm so glad that helped. Good. You. I'm like a relentless optimism who's also depressed. It's a really brilliant combination <laughs> of humanity. <laughs> but what is that even it, it like? makes me it makes me happy when I can share it, you know? There's uh there's nobody like you. Wait, are you are you big on the astrology thing? I know I'm a Pisces. That's only because I'm right. in the queer community. But, We're the yeah. same. Ah What was that about the, the queer community you said? I only know that I'm a Pisces because a big part of the queer community, everybody tells you what you are. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> they tell you why you're doing like, things because of the moon or the stuff. Yeah, you're like, I'm in full chart. I mean, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of the same way. I'm like, I'm, I'm always just curious. I think we talked about this a very long time ago, but I forgot you were a fellow Pisces. It makes sense. So, highly productive. Highly imaginative. You seem to be on the uh, the optimistic side of the spectrum for Pisces. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I still cry all the time. Don't worry. <laughs> Great. What's up next for you? I don't want to take up too much of your time because I do know you are a busy, busy person. You're fine, uh, girl. We're, we're but... chilling. What's in the works? What am I excited about? I'm doing a movie right now. Speaking of uh, music life balance. Um, I am doing a movie called Discussion Materials right now. Uh, I saw it in the chat. Hi, Danny. I'm saying hi. Libras and Pisces are compatible. Uh, whoa, that one's scary. Anyway, back to you, ADHD. The, uh, I, I'm doing a movie called Discussion Materials that is, uh, it's kind of like Wolf of Wall Street meets Ferris Bueller. Okay. Yeah, it's weird, but there's a lot of, a lot of, like, direct-to-camera address. It's about a guy who walks away from his dream job because he thinks he should be a stable finance person as opposed to like a professional hockey player. Oh, okay. And so it's actually a really, it's a really powerful film, I think. Uh, just about like following your dreams and trying to find, you know, whatever's true to you. And even when you lose sight of that, it's like you have to find a way to, to connect to that even when you're down. And, and he, um, yeah. And so the movie's about like his choice. So I'm very excited about that film. It's so funny. There's some things I can't talk about. <laughs> Right. But like I did NBA like I did like three movies. Yeah, I did like three movies last year, and they're all coming out this year. Oh gosh! Oh, you're gonna have a busy, busy year then. Yeah. Okay. So, it's it's funny though because like sometimes sometimes when something comes out, people are like, "Oh my god, you must be so 
you like you you just made all this money and like you did this incredible show and like how does it feel and actually you filmed it you know eight months ago and you've spent all the money that you made making it and now it's out and everybody's excited about it but you're like bro i'm like very not busy right now like i'm just sitting on my couch oh man that <laughs> so sounds like weird when you do an album and then it doesn't come out for ages yeah and then you're like sick of the songs by the time it hits you know yeah 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 and it's people just don't don't realize that delay like when you're excited about it it's like the artist has been living in this world for way too long and and it's like a struggle to not be over it sometimes and and i definitely won't be over the movie it's just when they hit i'm gonna be like <laughs> i like have to get off off my butt and, and put on a freaking suit and go to the premiere and be like woo this movie's amazing and i'm like right what did we do a year ago like what do i talk about anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah is it hard to to like leave your castmates after because i've done like a few random commercials and we all became best friends for a couple days and then you just never talk to those people again and yep. as a sensitive person i struggled with that um yeah i've heard yeah. that happens on movies too it does so. every yeah every time you do a project i mean you know <laughs> it's funny because you also meet so many people and that's true in music too it's like you'll you'll meet someone it's like it's so hard to have the bandwidth to like keep up with everybody. And so when you're when you're on set for, you know, that month or four months or whatever it is, it's like, yeah, those people become your family. And then and then you all get thrown to the wind. And it's funny. It's definitely like a microcosm, right? Like you live in a in a universe for a minute and you have a whole new family. And then and then uh, and you go your separate ways. What we've chosen to do with, do with our lives is, is pretty crazy. Like it, it's really, it's really weird. And especially as a, as a fellow Pisces, I don't know if you experience this, but it's like you can get so wrapped up in the project and the fantasy of whatever that world is you're creating. It's sometimes like a month and a half will go by and I'm like, was that even real? Cause now I have to just come home and like remember how to do my regular day to day. And it's so different, you know, so. It's hard, that post tour depression. A lot of people get yeah when was the last time you were on the road i was i was playing shows in australia january 2020 <laughs> and then i came back <laughs> and i never left again so i i haven't played i've been traveling i think that's right i think i remember when you did, did that because you were you went like so far afield and i was like dang like <laughs> yeah i was like i'm going to the philippines and then i'm going to australia and that is the whole tour how did that even happen? Do you have like, you have like a, um, I mean, you must have a fan base there. Do you have like connections or family there to like put you up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I found uh, my brother's wife's family. I stayed with them half the time in the Philippines and then I just went backpacking for the rest of it and played shows and stopped at radio places. Um, and then in Australia, I was just like, you guys like folk pop music. And so I just hit up everyone in Australia. <laughs> That's the right. Like you contact all the radio people, yada yada. Mm -hmm. So much work, man. So much. Work. It really is. People don't, people don't. People don't know. They don't know. You. You and our our fellow LA indie artists compatriots are. You got to be a hard worker, and it's so it's so tough. So it's like that's amazing that you were able to go not just on tour. You went like on tour, like big T. <laughs> like you were. You flew away. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, peace. Took a ukulele and a backpack. Just went for it. Yeah. You just gotta that's, do it sometime. I love to travel. Rock. You're a rock star. That's fucking amazing. Have you been traveling much? No, man. Omicron. <laughs> how's your man. mental health? How's how's your mental health? Or how it's like slowly exit frame. Yeah, my mental health is, is good now. I mean, you know, it's, well, good is relative on the day. I think, I think everything started to feel like, uh, you know, in Harry Potter, when Voldemort comes back and everybody, and you know, all the elders are like, well, it feels like it did before. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, uh -huh. Been having a little bit of that over the last month or a month or so. I think that that really affected me and the holidays are always, are always mixed feelings. You know, like I love Christmas. Don't get me wrong. Like I have my, my Christmas oh. tiki tree here you know <laughs> my, my little tiki guard but yeah like christmas is one of my favorite times and everything's sparkly and amazing and beautiful but you know 
it's hard because you gotta you have to you have to negotiate family you have to negotiate friends and then all of that pressure to like go out and see people and do things was squashed because COVID again. Yeah. So, um, but you know, I'm hopeful now. I'm really hopeful because I'm seeing things turn around. Being back at work on set is just good for me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really a stereotypical artist. Like I'm like you, like if I'm on set, I'm feeling good. And you know, and, and what you're getting paid or what the role is is kind of besides the point. It's just like you're out there, you're doing things. And so I'm feeling much more positive and I'm finally kind of dusting off the cobwebs with all the music that I have just sitting on hard drives. Yeah, I think that's the key. Sometimes you just got to kick your own ass and get out of bed and go to work. Go do it. <laughs> just do it. Someone, someone had given me some advice when I was just, I was just down and I just was like, I don't want to do anything ever again. And they were like, you can put your head down, but you got to keep going forward. Like you got to keep moving forward, but you can put your head down and you can be upset and you can be angry and you can feel like you're not doing anything, but just keep like, allow yourself to keep going and also, yeah. you know, have those low points too. Cause they're all part of it. Yeah. Well, it's it's funny. This is a very old piece of advice that I, I always I sometimes forget because it's so familiar to me. But you're going to learn just as much from a good experience as you are a bad experience. And mm -hmm. that kind of makes the bad stuff useful, <laughs> which is positive. Gives it a purpose. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to just like, why is this happening? Um, and so, yeah. And, and, you know, and by the same token, it's like you have to go down to come up. Yeah, I think all of that applies. Um, I, I really like that idea of like, yeah, you can put your head down, but you got to keep moving forward. I read I read something else the other day, too, that was helpful recently, where it was like, you know, you don't ever have, like, this day might be hard, but when it's done, you don't ever have to do it again. It's, mm -hmm. it's done. So. <laughs> How is it? That's nice. Yeah, that's it. That it's nice. nice. It's like. And it allows you to like move move forward, like you're saying. It's like you don't ever have to do that again. It's cliche, but every day is a is a new beginning, you know. Yeah, it's very true, and I think that's very reassuring. I think a lot of people are really feeling January right now, um, you know. Totally, that's January is a tricky month. January is a tricky month because it is always like that holiday burnout. But since I kind of feel like I skipped the holidays because of COVID. I was like, this one feels more positive than usual. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's still yeah. just right on nice. <laughs> Yeah, not drained from going good. to all the parties and I, I didn't spend a lot of money on presents. This is this is this is lovely. <laughs> we'll wrap up, but I wanna make sure everyone make sure you're following Zach and getting very excited for all the music that's gonna be coming out in addition to, you know, the millions of movies and, and T V shows. Um, <laughs> we are all huge fans of yours and I just love seeing what you're up to. Um, because every time I would run into you at a show, I would just, I would just be happier. Like you just have such a magnetic oh. personality and no matter like what's going on, you could be like having a bad show or having a good show and you're still just like, you're just there with your energy, like trying to bring people up. So appreciate you. Uh -huh. Really good to see you. I appreciate you. I'm a huge fan of you. You're just like the most, you really are. Like you're just, you're just the, the most, some of the most, as you said, you're an optimist, like just one of the most positive, you know, presences, whether it's digital or in person, I feel the <laughs> same way. So like, thank you so much for having me on. Anytime, anytime. Um, yeah. Let's do it again. The next time, next time we'll do a, we'll do a tap stream. You and me next time. Okay. That'll be fun with the delay. Like a nice, <laughs> no, no, preferably okay. in the same room. Preferably <laughs> in the same room. Oh All my right. god! All right. Well, thank you so much, Zach. Everybody, send Zach thank lots you. of love. I'll leave lots of nice comments on his page. Love you guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming. We'll hang out soon again. Bye.